it's, it's tough at the time when you put everything into your training, your whole training camp. Uh, the whole team wants you to perform as well. You've been working on stuff in the gym, but it's out of your control. It's great to see all the lads. Everyone's training hard. I love being here. Um, got the best facilities in the world here as well. I love for his sport. So, look, just great to be back training with Angel, uh, Richard, Fraser, and AJ. So, just we all push each other on here, and we've all got dates in in uh, the near future. So it's all good. So. So Angel's got a plan in place for each of us. He's got a global vision for each of us. And he knows knows all of our styles. He works specifically to our styles. Um, well, I love what I do, so I don't really feel like it's too bad leaving home for it. I've done this all my life since I was five years old. So this is my home, really, in the boxing gym. It's better that you're in a chair because you know the thing is with boxers, they're just they're like this in, in it. They're like this. Shadow boxing. Can't keep still. So I'm speaking to them. I'm like, please. So yeah, the chair. Anyway, October Red Boxing, back at Loughborough, the home of the rising champions. And I'm speaking to one now, Kira Malloy. You've been a guest on the channel before, so welcome back. Thank you. How have you been? Yeah, good, good. I had a busy few months since I seen you last. A uh, couple of fights fell through, unfortunately, but that's just boxing. But uh, we're back again, starting the next camp towards our next fight. Which I believe is August the 6th in Belfast. That's it, yeah, Belfast in the SSC Arena on uh, Michael Collins' undercard. Exciting stuff. He's on there as well. It's yeah. nice um, <laughs> to actually see you guys working together. I yeah. like that. Under yeah. the, Con is it Conlon Promotions? Yeah, Conlon Boxing, yeah. They're Conlon my management, um, Michael and Jim are my managers. Yeah, <laughs> nice one. But we're going to go back and we're going to talk about the couple of the fights that you should have had that fell through. Obviously, I'm someone that, you know, follows you quite closely on the social media. I've been in the gym a couple of times, seen you put in some lovely work inspiring this morning. How do you cope with that as a boxer? Like you said, it's boxing. Yeah. But you're ready. You've been in camp. You've been training. Talk to us about the last time when, obviously, I think your opponent had COVID. How did you deal with that? Yeah, it's, it's tough at the time when you put everything into training, your whole training camp. Uh, the whole team wants you to perform as well. You've been working on stuff in the gym. But it's out of your control. We just had to sit down and regroup. And we're back, like I said, just, just focusing on the next uh, challenge ahead. That's It's only five and a half weeks away. It is tough at the time, but it, there's not much more you can do other than move on from it and just focus on the next one. But it's not like you were over here, you know, in the comforts yeah. of your own home and got the news. Yeah. I saw you, you know, the flight, everything, the pictures in New York, uh, Times Square the bright lights, and then all of a sudden, it's like... Yeah, it was a kick in the teeth, it really was. Like, we were over there for a full week before it. I uh, met a lot of people who I would have seen before, like, growing up, a lot of fighters and stuff. Spent some time with them. Uh, had my full team over there. A lot of people travelled over, spent hard-earned money to be there, and then stuff like that happens. It's, uh, yeah, it's tough. But at the same time, everyone understands. Thank God I've got a great team around me, and we just got to move on. You know, like when the fans, because that's something I need to learn, because obviously if you travel over, you're a fan, obviously there to support you, want to see you win, progress in your career. What happens then? Do they, I don't know, with obviously they've spent money on flights, possible accommodation. How do you deal with that kind of pressure? Because it's, it's a letdown for yourself because you want to fight. But then you've got that added pressure of your fans that want to be there to support you. Mm. And it's like, oh, uh, how do you deal with that? I suppose what I wanted to do after I found out was I took a bit of time to, time to myself. I had to sit down with Angel and everyone. My mom and dad were over there as well. So then what I wanted to do was make sure I got around to see everyone who came over. So like that night, I just went out, like try to get around, see everyone, thank them for coming. And just hope and pray they all come to the next one. I'm sure they will if they're loyal. So yeah. talk to us about the next one. Is it a different opponent? So forgive me because I haven't seen the name on the card. Is it a different opponent? Because we know COVID ex I yeah. know it affects everyone differently, I guess. Yeah, it's a different opponent. The guy I was supposed to fight over there was American. So we're looking at an Irish guy this time. Um, it's not set in stone yet, but we've got a couple of guys to choose from. And just hopefully one of them just uh, takes the offer now. We can get, get it all sorted. And talk to us how the preparation's been going. Like I said, I saw you put in some nice rounds this morning um, with a fellow boxer. Uh, how's the preparation been going this time? Yeah, good. Just flew back to Loughborough yesterday. So, yeah, we're back here. Um, it's great to see all the lads. Everyone's training hard. 
I love being here and got the best facilities in the world here as well. I love for a sport. So look, just great to be back training with Angel, uh, Richard, Fraser and AJ. So just we all push each other on here and we've all got dates in, in uh, the near future. So it's all good. And one thing I wanted to touch on as well, obviously Angel's got a few fighters, a few fighters in a few weight categories. How is that then? Is bespoke training, his training, is it fighter specific? What I'm trying to get at is you're not all singing off the same hymn sheet. You've all got your own styles. Mm -hmm. And how does Angel as a trainer deal with those different styles to develop you into be a better boxer? So Angel's got a plan in place for each of us. He's got a global vision for each of us. And he knows knows all of our styles. He works specifically to our styles. We're not all doing the exact same things, you know. But um, yeah, he's got a great plan in place for us all, and we're confident in our training plans as well. And the sacrifices that you have to make, like you said, you've come straight back over here. You've left family and friends at home. When you're here, it's strictly boxing. Every time you come into Loughborough, you only associate it with boxing. Talk to us a little bit about the commitment that it takes as you as a fighter to put everyone else on pause and put your career first. Um, well, I love what I do, so I don't really feel like it's too bad leaving home for it. I've done this all my life since I was five years old. So this is my home really in the boxing gym and got a great relationship with all the, the staff here in Loughborough and all, all of the, the fighters and even other athletes around. So look, it's, it's a good place to be. And this is where I feel at home is in the gym. And talk to us a little bit about your style. I can say that I liked your inside work, but that I think today's the first time I've actually seen you spar. I've seen you train, yeah. but I haven't seen you spar before. Let the public know a little bit about your style as a boxer. Say I'm an aggressive, hard hitting southpaw who likes to go for knockout. And uppercuts? Yeah, like uppercuts, body shots. Yeah. Okay, then. And if we want to get behind you, how do we find you on social media? And people that want to get tickets to come to the fight over in Belfast, how can we get in contact? Um, if you go onto Conlon Box and Instagram or Twitter page, the link is in the bio for tickets on August 6th. And Instagram, my Instagram is kiramulai12. Awesome. We'll be keeping an eye on you. I'm praying that everything's good with whoever the opponent's going to be this time and then uh, look forward to you getting that win. Cheers. Thank you very much, Kieran. Thank I'm Red Boxing with Kieran Malloy. Yeah. No, good, good round. Good round. Happy I've done that now. I thought I wouldn't start firing until next week. Hi, and thank you for watching October Red Boxing. Like, subscribe and tap the bell for notifications. You can also find us on Instagram at October Red Boxing and on Twitter, October Red UK. And remember, at October Red, we stay ready.